All right, friends. We got to see this for the first time yesterday. It was Lights Out Awesome, containing four autographs, three of which are on a book. It's 2019 Historic Autographs Triple Play. These two are for our good friend Armando. Friend of the show. Frequent chatter. And all-around great guy. Shout out to his wife, who thinks my voice and Spanish is mucho hilarious -o. <laughs> Let the Quan be with you. He He's the one that throws the Quan out for everyone. Make sure everybody gets big hits. So let's return the favor to Mr. Armando, because he does the same thing for you. Teddy Williams, he says. All right, that's the cheat sheet. We're going to try to figure it out first. But before we get there, we are going to grab the card. Uh, Willie McCovey? Is that Willie McCovey? I think that's Willie McCovey. I want to say Willie McCovey. Mm, excuse me. Yeah, man. I do declare that is going to be Willie McCovey. That's pretty dope. They called him Stretch, Mac, or Willie Mac. There you go. It's pretty, pretty nice. National Hall of Fame, Baseball uh, Hall of Fame in 86. 81%. He was uh, put in the first year of eligibility. So there you go, man. You got a first ballot Hall of Famer right off the bat. And we haven't even gotten to the good stuff. Quote, unquote, good stuff. That's a solid start. Very good stuff. There we go. All right, that's definitely Dusty Baker. <laughs> we know we're starting with Dusty Baker, no doubt. So who's going to join Dusty Baker? Let me see if I can, uh, yeah, that'll work. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to cheat. I can't read the last one. Okay, cool. Oh, Don Baylor. Don Baylor is actually the third one. So you have, um, Dusty Baker, Don Baylor. And uh, Tom Pachinek, pa Pachinek, Pachinek, excuse me. Um, this is the connection between these three players. They are all 1971 Topps rookie trios. They are, uh, their rookie cards for Topps were all 1971. Uh, definitely no Dusty Baker and Don Baylor. Middle guy I don't know as much about. But yeah, Baylor I know, Baker I know, 1971. Let me uh, hit up the little Google in the middle, find out that gentleman's name. Tom. Oh wow, that pops up very first thing when you put in Tom P. Oh, he was a color commentator. His nickname was Wimpy. Okay. <laughs> uh, his 
Known by the nickname Wimpy, which was given to him by Tommy Lasorda after a dinner with minor league teammates in which he only ordered a hamburger instead of a steak. Got the nickname Wimpy. Very interesting. Hmm. 2016 National College Baseball Hall of Fame. All righty. But the other two go without saying Dusty Baker, Don Baylor. We know those names. If you don't, Google. But here's your Beckett Authentic letter. <laughs> Very nice. We're crack open number two. Trying to open this so that I don't see anything. <clears throat> uh, is that Fred Lynn? <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to say Fred Lynn. Let's take a look at that auto. That is Fred Lynn. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Fred Lynn, without a doubt. <clears throat> Uh, no, this is a personal break. All right, Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame in 02, College Baseball Hall of Fame in 07. Rookie of the Year and MVP in 1975. He was the first player to win the Rookie of the Year and the MVP in the same year as a Red Sox in 75. So that's pretty important. I like it. Also an analyst for ESPN. Spokesperson for Gillette and MasterCard. Amongst other things. There you go. Glad you didn't. You got it right there. All right. Those were the potatoes, and they are very good potatoes. Let's see the meat. Mel Allen. That looks like a very old piece of paper, too. Ernie. Ernie Har Harwell. Hmm. Goodness, I'm going to have to phone a friend on this one. Give me one second. Okay, it is, it is Mel Allen, Red Barber, and Ernie Harwell. All three of those ballplayers are also Hall of Fame announcers. They are Ford Frick Award winning announcers. That's a twist. I can get behind that. Red Barber. Barber sounds very familiar. Who did he call for? Old Redhead. Uh, that's why he was the Yankees announcer. Uh, he was the Brooklyn Dodgers announcer from 39 to 53. The Yankees announcer from 54 to 66. Like his fellow sports pioneer Mel Allen, who is also on this card. He did American football in New York City as well. Mel Allen uh, was the other announcer for the Yankees. He was known as the voice of the Yankees. Um, I knew I recognized one of them, and it was from the Yankees. Uh, Mel Allen was the other. He was the voice of the Yankees. A very familiar voice. They do have recordings. You can actually listen to him call parts of a game. Uh, but he was known as the voice of the Yankees before he passed away in 96. Uh, and then Ernie Harwell. Okay. 
He was the, uh, his most famous call is the walk-off home run in Game 7 of the World Series. The only ever walk-off Game 7. Barbara, I believe, did the Giants as well. You are correct. I, they sound familiar as a, uh, a Buffalonian. Or a Buffaloni, as I like to call me, myself. Um, it sounds familiar. Ernie Harwell. Forty-two years as the Detroit Tigers television and radio voice. He is ranked the 16th overall greatest sportscaster of all time. He be, oh wow, hey, this is really cool. Check this out. So this guy right here, this is, I can't make this up. This is true. He's the only broadcaster in history to be traded for a player. I can't make this up. He was traded for Cliff Dapper. <laughs> legitimately traded. He was traded for a player. Yes, I'm going to pull this up. Check this out, guys. Look at this stuff. I can't make this up. Became the only broadcaster to ever be traded for a player. Absolutely no joke. No joke. Look at that is... I love that card even more now. Oh, yeah, man. That is... I love this card even more. And he coined his trademark call. He's the one that started. That one is long gone. That's him. He's the one that uh, coined long gone. Two for the price of one after double plays. Called him out for excessive window shopping. And he coined a fan from blah, blah, blah will be taking a ball home today. So this dude is a legit... He... A lot of things that are used in modern broadcasting, he coined those original terms. That's really awesome. Uh, as somebody who does voice work, <laughs> I find it really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I dig. I dig that. So, there we go, man. It is. It's a really cool card. There's your Beckett letter. I like it, brother. I really like that. All right, uh, Justin, if you don't mind, 